Hello, my name is Jessica Allman, and this is Unwind With Me, where you learn to crochet with the Duncan Public Library. I am a self-taught crocheter. I've worked with it for 11 years now. My goal for this series is that everybody learns a little something, whether or not you start crocheting. I crochet personally because it's nice to have to do something and have a little product at the end. Most of my crochet projects take a roughly four hours. I don't go for big ones. So by the end of this series, you should be able to make anything that I can make. So, to get started, I'm going to show you everything you need to start running when we get the first instructional video out. I'm going to talk about some yarn, hooks, and just little tips to get you ready to have fun. You need just four things to get started crocheting today. Yarn, a pair of scissors, a crochet hook that matches your yarn in size, a yarn needle. I use a metal tapestry needle, which is sharp. If there's a child that you're going to be crocheting with, you should really use a plastic yarn needle that you can get at most craft stores. And if you really feel like you need one, you can always get a stitch marker. Some patterns call for them. I just use a safety pin. All right, so let's talk yarn. Buying your yarn is gonna make a big difference in what you crochet and how you crochet it. I recommend Red Heart Super Saver in medium or worsted weight or a similar acrylic yarn. Here's why. When you're starting, you don't want to get into the fancy expensive yarn. I know they're pretty and they are very lovely for projects, but you're going to be taking your work out and redoing it and Red Heart is really just the way to go. It's an acrylic yarn, so you don't have to worry about colors bleeding or if I get one ball of yellow and then a ball of yellow later they're not gonna match right because they're different dye lots. They, these are machine washable and dryable. They're really nice. They're not scratchy anymore. The acrylic yarn used to be kind of scratchy. It's gotten a lot better. And this was only about six dollars. So when you're starting out this is a good one to get. If you get a bulky yarn, like this one, this is a super bulky, then you're working with an L hook or bigger. And those are 10 millimeters around. They're kind of hard to hold. You hold them differently. And, and they can make your arm tired because you're doing a lot more work. So when you're first starting out, bulky is not the way to go. Neither is really skinny. This is crochet thread. You make doilies out of it and they're very pretty. However, this one takes a 1.5 millimeter hook. They're itty bitty tiny steel hooks. And they're hard to work with unless you have your stitches down. So, medium weight yarn, highly recommended. Medium weight yarn usually takes an I or an H hook. I use aluminum hooks. I it's a Walmart hook. It's not expensive, about $5 just for the one. You can get sets for about 20, but if you're just starting out, if you don't know if you're gonna keep crocheting after this, these are the ones to go for. And then in a minute, I'll show you a close up of the yarn label and it'll show you where to find what kind of hook to buy. You can get hooks that are just like this. They just have this little thumb rest. You kind of hold them like a pencil, or you can hold them like a knife. You can get um, hooks with cushioned handles, so if you have some wrist problems, those are helpful. Um, you can get hooks in all kinds of shapes and sizes. There's only one rule of thumb. 
once you start a project with one hook, you have to use that hook. Not all hooks are exactly the same size. They try to be, but manufacturing means they don't all come out the same. So if you switch in the middle of a project, suddenly your pattern is too big or too small or etc. I highly recommend when you first start crocheting to get a bright yarn. I don't recommend white and I don't recommend black or dark blue or anything really dark because it's a little hard to see where your stitches are which makes it hard to go into the right places on those stitches. So until you have practice, happy, bright, acrylic yarn is your best friend. Here's a close-up of what I consider to be the five basic crochet tools you're going to need when we start the instructional videos next week. This is the hook that I'm using. It's a boy brand, it's aluminum eye hook. You can get it at Walmart or Joann's or Michael's, Amazon. You can get these all over the place and they're really good, sturdy. I've had this one, I think since I started crocheting. Good scissors, a needle with a large hole. Mine's pretty sharp, but like I said, you can get dull ones if you don't want to work with a sharp one. And if you crochet while traveling, it's always best to have a dull plastic one rather than a sharp one if you're like going on a plane. A safety pin so you don't lose your spot. And a bright acrylic medium weight yarn. Now, when you look at a ball of yarn, you're gonna have a lot of information. How much yarn you're getting and how much it weighs. On the reverse of this label on the inside is this pattern. You'll know the color and the dye lot. With Red Heart, that usually doesn't matter having to match dye lots, but if you get a hand dyed yarn in cotton or wool or something, you really need to match the dye lot or in the middle of a project, you'll have a color change. You can learn what the yarn is made out of. I've worked with acrylic, wool, cotton, cotton wool blend, linen. You can get silk. There's a lot of different yarn options, but again, starting with acrylic is always better. You learn how to wash it, the weight, what size crochet hook to use, what size knitting needles to use, and these right here around the edge let you know what the gauge for this yarn is. So when you use this yarn and an eye hook and you do 12 single crochet stitches across, 15 rows up, you should have a four by four square. Now, a lot of projects, it doesn't quite matter the gauge. Some people crochet tightly, some loosely, but again, that's just the best yarn, The be I'm sorry, the best hook for this yarn. It'll make the easiest stitches for you. All right, yeah. tips for a good crochet day. Right now, I'm in the library kitchen. We have nice, bright, natural light in here. Work in natural light if possible. Try not to crochet for more than an hour. You're gonna get fatigued and work a lot of muscles you did not know you had last week. It's surprisingly physical. And roll your wrists, stretch your hands every so often because you're going to get hand cramps. See you next week.